If you thought that Tesla changed the prices of its electric cars too frequently, then you haven't been looking at the price changes of the Ford F-150 Lightning electric pickup truck. The price of this vehicle changes more often than I eat breakfast. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Ford have adjusted the prices of the F-150 Lightning once again. Why are they doing this? Well, because they lose $36,000 on every single one they sell. $36,000. That's a lot of money. And it's why Ford lost more than $3 billion selling electric cars in 2023. And when you consider the facts, Ford did not sell very many electric cars. In fact, they sold less than half of what they thought they said that they would sell. Uh, then that's pretty surprising. Well, you know what? It's not surprising Ford sold that number of EVs. They could have sold more, surely, if they'd made more Ford F-150 Lightning trucks. But why would you want to if you're losing that much money on every single one you sell? Ford have to do something different. And rather than actually changing the battery pack to a lithium ion phosphate battery, which is what I think they should have done, um, they've simply adjusted the prices once again. The 2024 Ford F-150 Lightning base model has increased in price for, I believe, a sixth time. It now costs $5,000 more, but the top trim, the most expensive version, is now $7,000 cheaper. Now, I'm not going to say many people would want the most expensive version of this truck, but I guess there would be a few people, a few, you know, fairly rich people would say, awesome, more money in my pocket. Now, guys, realistically here, something very wrong has happened. Very wrong. I mean, Ford had around 250,000 reservations for the Lightning. And now, well, apparently dealers are saying, we can't sell our Lightnings. That's a concern. Ford know this. Ford know that there's demand problems that most people who ordered canceled. In fact, well over 70% of people who ordered apparently have canceled their orders. That's a concern. But Ford do have a version two of this truck coming out. It'll have much faster charging. And that's the biggest problem with this truck. People said, oh, they criticized me when I said uh, that the big problem here, which in fact now Jim Farley, the CEO of Ford agrees with. Um, thanks, Jim. The biggest problem here is the charging speed is too slow. You're talking a very big battery pack that charges at a maximum charging speed of 150 kilowatt. It needs faster charging for a vehicle with a battery pack this size. So Jim Farley drove the truck across America. He said, whoa, charging is terrible because theoretically it can charge at 150 kilowatt, but how many non-Tesla chargers can give you good charging speeds and can even work? So now, of course, Ford jumps onto Tesla's uh, supercharging network and that will be good. But when the version two of this truck comes out, that's when you probably want to get one. Over the course of its existence, the F-150 Lightning's price has changed many times. The base price has risen from $39,990 when launched to as much as $60,000. It's now fallen back down to $49,995. Now it's just come back to $55,000. But it's not that easy to get the base model version. As you can imagine, Ford doesn't want to build many of those. It loses a lot of money on that version. So it's easier to get the mid-spec or the more expensive models in particular. Lower trim models are seeing price increases of up to $10,000, with the entry-level pro model now priced at $55,000, which is a $5,000 increase. Higher trim models have reductions of as much as $7,000. In addition, Ford has removed the XLT extended range and Lariat standard range models, and it's introduced the new Flash model. Which model should you get? Well, I'm going to tell you which model I would buy. Demand for the F-150 Lightning continues to grow, said Marty Gunsberg, a Ford spokesperson, to the Detroit Free Press. The EV segment remains dynamic and will continue to make adjustments. So here's the full price list. You can see here um, the Lariat extended range. It's come down in price by $2,000. The Platinum is down by $7,000. The Platinum Black is down by $5,000. And the XLT up by $10,000. And the Pro is up by $5,000. The XLT model um, has obviously increased in price enormously. So you can clearly see here Ford probably wanted to increase the price of the Lariat extended range by more than it already has, um, but it couldn't really because if it had have increased the price more, it wouldn't have qualified for EV incentive. So they've increased it to the maximum price they can before it loses its qualification 
$79,500. So that vehicle directly aligns in price with the Cybertruck dual motor version. They're both almost identically priced. Lariat extended range. It actually does have a slightly bigger battery pack than the Cybertruck. It's 130 kilowatt hour pack versus the Cybertruck's 123 kilowatt hour pack. But the Cybertruck has probably a little bit better efficiency. That's like the reason that it gets a little bit more range. Anyhow, the only model here that hasn't seen a price increase is actually the XLT extended range. And that product, that model costs $69,995, qualifies for EV incentives, meaning you could theoretically get one for $62,500, which I think is actually a pretty good deal. But unfortunately, Ford have canceled that version of the truck. It no longer exists. And now, if you want to get the extended range battery pack, you've got to go up to a Lariat. So Ford is trying to cut some of its losses on its electric vehicles. It's slowing down production of its EVs. If you've seen this ridiculous um, news report saying Ford has canceled EVs, it's not building them anymore, utter nonsense. Please report them to YouTube because I'll report them to Facebook or wherever you see this stuff. It's just brainwashing people into idiocy. I've seen videos like this that have had literally millions of views. People believe that Ford no longer makes electric vehicles, which is clearly completely false. This move follows declarations by Ford CEO Jim Farley that the automaker had to cut costs and improve quality. By eliminating two models, it has simplified its offerings and the price changes help compress the F-150 Lightning lineup and it helps Ford not lose as much money on the vehicles it sells. Clearly, it was losing money on the version that it has cancelled, the extended range uh, XLT. It's probably the model that it was losing more money on. Bigger battery pack, much bigger battery pack. The Blue Oval believes that the Platinum trim will be the only one that does not qualify for $7,500 in federal tax credits due to its high price. Um, but you can see here that actually that's not true. The Platinum won't qualify either because it's $85,000. So which models do qualify? Well, the, everyone, every vehicle here in this list that costs under $80,000 should qualify. So the Lariat Extended Range qualifies, the Flash will qualify, the XLT and the Pro will qualify as well. What do you get in the flash? Well, the flash comes with the standard range battery. It has um, a Bang & Olufsen sound system. That's nice. A 15.5 inch LCD screen, uh, wireless charging, all kinds of driver assistance technology, such as pro trailer brake assist and trailer brake control. Now, unfortunately, there's still a lot of 2023 model F-150 Lightnings in dealerships. But that could be good for you if you want one. You probably get a pretty good deal. I mean, the Cybertruck has about nine years of pre-orders, so good luck on getting one of those. If you want an electric truck, get one of these, a Rivian or one of these. I personally probably would get uh, a Rivian instead of this or a Cybertruck because I have a pre-order, but I'm in Australia, so I'm not going to see one of those for a long time. But if I had to buy an F-150 Lightning, which I think is actually a decent vehicle, I would actually go ahead and I would get the Lariat extended range for 79,500. I think that's probably the best value model in this Ford lineup. What are your thoughts? Let me know what you think. Would you get this? Would you get a Ford F-150 Lightning, a Cybertruck or a Rivian? Which of them do you think is the best? I think it's the Cybertruck and Rivian second and Ford third. Thanks for watching.